automatic chicken doors. If you go on Amazon and you search for them, there's probably like a hundred different ones out there that you can buy. Some of them are really complicated. Some of them are really simple. I did my research. I wanted something simple. I wanted something self-contained. I wanted something that would be supporting a small business. So I found this ladies first chicken door and I read a bunch of their reviews and I purchased it. We bought this with our own money. They did not provide this to us. We're not affiliated with them in any way, shape or form. And I thought, you know what? Might as well take you guys along and show you how this thing works. The design's pretty simple. It basically comes with everything that you need. There's a, a little manual override switch with a cord. You can connect this and mount this somewhere that's convenient, easily accessible. So if you, you know the door is closed, I need to open it for whatever reason. You can toggle this switch or put it back in auto mode. There's a little solar panel that's used to recharge the batteries that are in here. And it's also the light sensor. So it's what it uses to know when it's dark outside and the sun just came up. So that's what it uses for that a little cord that plugs in. If you open this panel right here, this is kind of the brains of the whole thing. See here, it comes with uh, energizer, rechargeable batteries, little circuit board, the motor, the screw drive. There's a couple of little relays. This is the one that knows when the door is opened all the way. And then as it's closing, this one right here kind of, this is the one that it knows when the doors reach the bottom. And this is also the sensor that will detect something's blocking the door. So if there's a chicken in the doorway, this is gonna trip and the, the motor will stop and it, and it won't crush your chicken. Another little switch right here that you can use to switch between auto open and close mode. And then these two little switches right there, those are to adjust the amount of time that it waits after it gets dark. So is, do you want it to close as, you know, 10 minutes after it gets dark or one hour after it gets dark? You can use these to adjust that. This is where the little switch plugs into and this is where the solar panel plugs into. So the design is pretty darn simple, which is kind of why I like it. I mean, I didn't want something super complicated with actuators and all kinds of weird things. This was just like a really simple setup. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go out and get this thing installed today. I've been on this quest lately to try to automate things on the homestead to make it so that if we wanna go up to the cabin for the weekend, we really don't have to worry about a whole lot. I mean, we have to find somebody to feed our goats for us, especially in the winter, but the chickens, I want them to be able to take care of themselves for two, three, four, five days without problem. So chicken coop is all trimmed out. I adjusted it already. The height of the door, um, you want it to be 12 inches and it needs about 10 and a half inches wide. So the instructions pretty simple. Hopefully we cut our door the right size or made our door smaller the right size. How I can do this. So there's a little like copper or brass nail that goes in here that kind of holds this panel. So these screws that hold it down definitely don't don't tighten them too far because it kind of squishes this and then this panel doesn't slide right. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'm at the part where I need to start running these little wires for these things. The little switch, I almost wasn't going to hook it up because you can always just open up this little panel and manually do what you need to do. But it's really like all it is is just like a telephone wire, like one of those RJ11 jacks. So it's like really simple. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole somewhere in here and I'll run the cord through 
back behind and then I'll come out and I'll hook it up up there. And I think I'm gonna do the same with the cord for the little solar panel. Chicken, will you stop? <laughs> I'm probably gonna do the same with the cord for the solar. I'm gonna run it through the same hole. I'm gonna come out up there and then we'll run under the under the eave and we'll mount this out on the front where the sun actually hits. Sorry about the chickens, they will not stop with the egg sounds today. So the little solar panel does come with this little tab like pre-installed for mounting it, but I want it at an angle. So I'm gonna try to see if I can bend this thing. I think it's just aluminum without ripping it off. It's actually kind of angled so it's facing the sun. <laughs> I don't think the chickens like me being in here with them. So I'm just using some little clips like this just to hold the wire. The kit came with some like little plastic ones with little nails and just like up underneath here I think screws are a little easier than trying to nail something up under here. Getting close. Hopefully my cord's long enough. That would suck. <laughs> this cord for the solar panel, I believe is like 15 feet. The cord for the little switch, I think is about six feet. So you got plenty to work with. Our chicken coop is just kind of big. And that wire, just tuck it right in there. Oh no. Trying to see if I can get just a couple more inches out of this thing. Still doesn't reach. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Instead of running it on the outside like this, I'm like literally, I need like four inches. I'm just gonna drill a hole right here and I'm gonna run it through the inside and that will uh, fix my problem. Ah, uh, yes. Success. There we go. So we got everything hooked up. We can set this to auto. We'll check the other little switch, make sure it's on auto. And I think this can be closed up. I think we're, I think we're basically done inside. Unless I show you guys again how that gear drive thing works, but it's pretty simple. Some of the wires on the inside, I gotta touch them up still. So let me do that real quick. And then we'll, we'll test this thing out and see how it works. I think one of the problems that with all of this chicken noise that I've had today is one of the light orange ones I think has gone broody. She keeps going in there and sitting on that pile of eggs that's in there. The, I gave them their little ramp back. This was their old door that we would just manually open and close by hand every night, every morning. But it's got nice little treads for them so they can get in and out. Installation was probably, so if I wasn't filming this, this like, I think I'm going on like two and a half hours now because I've been filming the whole process. If I left the camera in the house and, and just came out and just said, okay, bust this out, get this done. I'd be looking at probably 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes from start to finish. And I had to resize my hole. So as long as your hole fits um, or you can adjust your hole, you should be good to go. Like the, the frame and the door portion, you. I mounted mine on the outside, but you can mount it on the inside as well because there's no light sensor here to determine if it's daytime or nighttime. So this entire thing could be mounted on the inside if I wanted to. Um, I just liked it out here better. In fact, there's a couple pieces of 
of structural timber behind these that would have made it difficult to mount it on the inside. So the solar panel, pretty slick, pretty simple. That's what it uses to determine if it's if it's daylight or nighttime. And that's here. Let's click the close button. We're just doing the manual override because it's not dark right now, so it's obviously not gonna work. I will come back out here like later tonight. So let's pretend there's a chicken stuck right here. Nope. Barely any pressure at all and it went right back up. So it gives the chicken a chance to get out of the way and then it's gonna try to close again. Hey. Hey, I'm filming. <laughs> Let me get them chickens out of there. And I got something else to tell you. Ow, ow. So are there any concerns or any things that I don't really like about it? Um, the only concern that I have is ice. So there have been times before in the winter when, when this was our door and it was closed and we came out to open it and we couldn't because it was all coated with ice. I'm worried a little bit about chicken poop build up right here at the bottom. So we might have to just check this once every couple weeks or so, just make sure, sure there's not like a big pile of poop building up right here. They normally don't poop here too often, but we'll see. What I may do is build a couple pieces of wood that I can screw in right here and build almost like a little awning that comes off, like a little roof. So it would be mounted here and come off this way, just as a place to keep the, the ice off of it. So if we like fall, early spring, sometimes we have these ice storms in Michigan, and I think it would just create like a little, little rain shield to go right here, just to try to protect it functionality if I do that it's really not gonna I mean if it came off from like right here I can still access all of the the batteries and everything up here if I need to mess with that and then the door is kind of actually recessed behind so that won't be bothered by it either so if I turn my back for one second that chicken ran right back in there to sit on them eggs so I will leave a link to is it Matt or Mike? I don't remember the guy's name that owns this company. I think it's Matt. Matt's website, it's like ladiesfirstchickendoor.com or something like that. They run like a $219, I think is what this cost. It basically came with everything that you need to install it. The batteries, the solar panel, all that came with it. And shipping was free. So it didn't cost like, okay, $219 plus, plus pay $20 for shipping, nope. Just straight up 219, we did pay for this ourselves. This was not provided to us by, by anyone except my own wallet. And there was a little bit of a delay. I think when I placed my order, I think about a week went by and I emailed him. I'm like, hey, do you have a status on my order? And he said that he was short on some parts like circuit board or something he was missing. Shipment was coming in a couple days. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll, you know, I'll give you some grace here. And within two days, he's like, I got the parts. I'm building it tonight. I think he basically builds these out of his house from what I can tell. I'll get it built tonight. I'll ship it out tomorrow morning. It came priority mail two days. So yesterday it showed up. So. I will, um, hey, stop, come on. I'll come back out here tonight when it gets dark. We'll set up the camera and we'll make sure that it actually does what it's supposed to do when it turns dark. Hey, come on, stop. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. So we'll come out when it gets dark and make sure that it actually does what it's supposed to do. We'll put the camera in here and then we'll uh, before dark and we'll just let it roll until dark comes. So my plan to film this for you guys last night.
<laughs> did not work. It's uh, apparently too dark in here once it gets dark. Imagine that. And the camera basically did not capture the door actually closing. It caught the little green light up here blinking. And this morning it also opened for the chicken. So they're out here having their breakfast this morning. So that that's cool. Things seem to be working the way that they should. If something happens over the course of the next couple of weeks or months or something, uh, I'll try to do a quick update video for you guys and let you know that things did not go so well. But I feel pretty confident in it. It's a pretty simple system. I did end up building my little roof system that I was talking about. Uh, it started raining yesterday in the afternoon. And you know, it's like, you know what? I can probably crank this thing out in like 10 minutes. Basically just screwed two boards right here to the side, a couple pieces of cedar. It should resist weather somewhat decent. Cedar's pretty good about it. So if not, I can always pull this off and replace it. It's a pretty simple setup. So thanks a lot for coming along, guys. We will uh, see you soon.